next guest tonight has refereed more fights than anyone in boxing history. He has a new autobiography out appropriately entitled Let's Get It On. And uh, starting August 17th, you can see his new TV show, Judge Mills Lane. Please welcome Mills Lane. <laughs> I gotta say, my favorite part, I think, in any fight that you referee is when you give the instructions right up at the top. I like that you do it with great authority. Can we hear that right now? Absolutely. All right, the center of the ring, I said, you've already gone through the instructions one time. I expect a tough, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Any questions here? Any questions here? Let's get it on! Now, <laughs> very good. Now, my question, my question is, does anybody ever have questions? <laughs> you know, I mean, they always, they never do, but, but I'm always wondering, is there ever a guy there who's going like, if the bell rings, where do we go? When's the fight over? I do we get paid by check or cash? I never had a question like that, but if one asks, we have to answer it. Okay, so, but no one has gone on and asked 30 questions. They usually just get right into the fight, Get right, right to it. Now, we, uh, we're all excited about your TV show. You're becoming one of these TV judges, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Is the money rolling in on this deal? It hasn't rolled in yet, but if we're successful, if we get it on, uh, it's going to be successful. And uh, I'll tell you right now, the only thing that's better than with love is pay to the order of. You're a sentimental man. Yeah. Now, uh, what do you think? What do you think of the other TV judges? If you think you and the other TV judges got all into a boxing match, who would win? You mean if I bought, fought the other TV judges if in a fight? If you fought like Koch and Judge Judy, and you guys all had your... Gloves on, who would, who would come out the winner? You can go to jail for murder. I mean, I'd kill Ooh. him. Ooh. I think Judge Judy would rip your head off. <laughs> Have you seen Judge? She's, I'll tell you this, she's tough. There's no question about it, she's tough. <laughs> Watch out for her. Yeah. You were a, um, your career fascinates me because you've done so much. You were an actual judge in Reno, Nevada. That's true. And I don't, I, I think if, if I was a lawyer and I got in your courtroom, that you would be one of those judges who, who wouldn't put up with a lot of nonsense. Is that right? You're a tough judge? Do you, do you like lawyers? Do you get along with them? I like honest, hardworking, ethical lawyers, yes. And believe it or not, there are some of those. Mm -hmm. Now, the ones that are dishonest, that lie, cheat, and, and they won't tell you the truth, I wouldn't piss on if they were on fire. <laughs> to be an unethical lawyer <laughs> and I take great offense to what you just said uh, I, besides I, I think I'd use a fire extinguisher yeah. first <laughs> it's much easier yeah you could get that performance anxiety and they just roast he's right you know you want, did the um just curious, this is, this is apropos of nothing, but have you ever been asked to play Ross Perot in a movie? Is it? No, I haven't been asked to, but uh, I'd entertain the thought. You would, you? Hell yes. Uh, if... <laughs> Tell me, say, can I just finish? Can I get a word in here? Just say that. Can I finish? Can I get a word in here? You've got the part. All right, good. The movie is called... The movie's called Hong Kong Night, starring Ross Perot. <laughs> Um, you know, you, I was talking about your, your, your patchwork career, all the different things you've done. You also were a repo man. You repossessed cars for a living, is that right? Before I went to law school, in 1965, about many semesters ago, I worked for a bank, and my job was collecting loans and repossessing cars. That's right. So if someone didn't make their payments, it was your job to go and get the car? If we couldn't work it out, and I never took one from somebody who was trying. If you couldn't get it on, it was your job to get the car back? That's right. Okay. Uh, did you ever have real trouble with oh, a guy? Oh, yeah. I had a guy one time that uh, pulled a gun, and I said, don't shoot. I'm leaving. So we, we left, and we followed him to work the next day and stole it. <laughs> and then I had another case, a better case. Remember that if someone pulls a gun on you. <laughs> Let them go and then go to their place of business. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, uh -huh. A better case we had. We had this guy that wasn't, when he was making the payments when he was in the van. What, what did he buy? What, what he kind bought of... a Cadillac. It was called Desert Road. Mm, Color sweet. was, we call it titty paint, P mm. uh, titty paint. <laughs> so he bought the car, and he was making the payment. What the hell was that? Mills, 
Just say pink next time. All right. But I'd better say that. I'll fill in the rest on my own. Right. So he makes the payment. The hell? So what he makes? He makes the What kind of titty pink was it? <laughs> Need to know exactly. So many different shades. Uh, <laughs> so he makes. He makes the payments. You for realize a while. you're not getting any farther with this story. No. No. Go ahead. No. Uh, go uh, ahead. Uh, so he makes the payments for a while. Right. Then he left Nevada. And he quit paying. And he used to call me on the phone and says, Hey, young boy, this is Alvin G. How about them payments? And my name was on the loans. I was he would, stuck. He would mock you? Over the call phone? me on the damn phone. So I sent a repop guy in and found it and stole it from him. So he called me on the phone and says, oh, Mr. Lane, now this is Mr. Manning. How do I get my car back? And I said, Sir, let me tell you how you get your car back. We made a point up about you. It goes like this. There once was a man from Sioux City who had a Cadillac the color of a titty. <laughs> when the payments came due, no money came through. He's walking now, ain't that a pity? <laughs> I love that, a repo man who also puts the work in to think of a nice poem. Of course. <laughs> Um, you, uh, you also, uh, hard to, you, you're not just a, a referee in boxing, you, you boxed yourself, is that right? I fought, uh, in the amateurs, I got beaten in Olympic trials in the finals, and I fought professionally in my last three years of college, and my first pro fight, I got knocked out in 38 seconds. How did you get knocked out in 38 seconds? Did you trip on your way into the ring? I mean... <laughs> no, that was quick. He hit me on the chin, and I went down the first time. I don't remember going down the other two times. I go back to the corner, and they gave me the ammonia. So I looked up and I said, well, well what happened? And uh, my manager says, well, Mills, it's all over. And I said, you mean I knocked him out that quick? And he said, yeah, you already knocked him out. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the biggest story in boxing right now, without a doubt, is that Tyson, Mike Tyson, was just turned down. Uh, he, 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 well, he actually wasn't turned down. He was thinking about approaching uh, the New Jersey officials, I guess, to get his boxing license back. And he pulled out at the last second and said, I'm not going to try here. I'm going to try in Vegas. Do you think he gets his license back? I think this, he's going to have to answer some tough questions. I do not know what the commissioner is going to do, but he did the right thing in pulling his application in New Jersey. He was revoked in Nevada. Mm -hmm. He should go back in Nevada and face the music there. He's going to be asked some tough questions, and if he stands up like a man and be counted, uh, I think he'll get fair consideration. But if he, if he puts them on or looks down his nose at him or, or is not uh, respectful of our right. commission, he's got some problems. What would you do in that, in that same situation? Mike Tyson comes before you, the biting, everything, what would you say? Would you let him in? Conan, I uh, can't answer that question. I'm a referee still. I work under the commission. I shouldn't second guess him, and I'm not. I respect you, both for that answer and for using the term titty pink. <laughs> The book is Let's Get It On, uh, Tough Talk from Boxing's Top Ref and Nevada's Most Outspoken Judge. Uh, it's in bookstores right now. And Judge Mills Lane premieres August 17th. Best of luck with that show, Thank really. You. Uh, and, and come on back. We always love having Thank you here. Thank you. Mills Lane, everybody. Patatonia coming up. We'll be right back. show coming up Monday night. Rosie O'Donnell is going to be with us here. That's right. Actor Patrick Warburton will be here. And very funny comedian Dave Attell. So check out that program. All right, everybody. We're going to take a little break. And uh, when we come back, Catatonia will perform. So stick around. We'll see you in a second. our show of the night. Do you want to thank all our guests and H. Want to thank her for being here. Yeah. Our thanks also to Mills Lane for being on the program. Our thanks to the band Catatonia for being here. Our thanks to Mr. Sam Bush, everybody. Give Sam Bush a hand. He did walk out tonight. I couldn't believe it. 
First, we got your Andy Rick, you got your Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg 7. Stay tuned for 